This year's national championship game will be the last one for college football as we know it. There are changes coming to the college football playoff format next year, and it follows an already legendary year in the sport. It is near impossible to say the words college football playoff without controversy. This time of year always brings out the couch quarterbacks who say, my team got snubbed. This year, it was Florida State an undefeated conference champion who was not considered a top four team after starting quarterback Jordan Travis got hurt in late November. The injury caused 29 players on the team to opt out of its bowl game against Georgia, either to transfer to another school or enter the NFL draft as the Seminoles got rocked by the Bulldogs 63-3. But it wasn't the only controversy. It seemed everyone had an opinion on this year's top four teams. Does Georgia get a shot at the national title after losing only one of its last 30 games? What about perennial Alabama, who handed Georgia that one loss? Or is it Texas, who beat Alabama earlier in the season? The college football national championship picture has always been flawed. There have been four playoff positions and five major conferences. So right out of the gate, at least one conference season and conference champion is ruled irrelevant because there are only four spots. Paul Crane is a sports contributor for Scripps News and has a long-standing relationship with college football, even before the current four-team playoff system that was introduced a decade ago. Next year, that system will expand once more, but this time to a 12-team playoff. The top four teams will get a first-round bye into the quarterfinals, and college football will suddenly resemble something more similar to what the NFL has, a single elimination tournament that includes 12 teams. In college ball, the new system will allow pro Programs who haven't had a legitimate shot at the crown, let's say like 11th ranked Tulane this year, a chance to win it all. Enjoy college football this year because when after Monday night, after the national championship game, college football as we know it, ha we have know it, will be, be over. Tony Barnhart has been covering college ball as a columnist for 47 years. He says the new format will help schools, not just on the field, but off it, as the expanded playoffs expand the number of relevant programs recruits will want to consider. It's going to be uh, significantly different in the fact that a guy could say, I don't have to go to name your powerhouse program, whatever it is. I don't have to go there if I want to go to the college football playoffs. I can go here. And I think that that is that and the trans that and the transfer portal has spread out the talent. I think it, it's only going to level more level the playing field. But it wasn't just the college football playoffs that stole the headlines. This was the third season that NIL deals were a major talking point as they allowed players to make millions off their name, image, and likeness. Shudder Sanders, Arch Manning, and Caleb Williams all make north of two and a half million dollars annually. It was also the year of Coach Prime, whose Colorado Buffaloes stormed onto the national scene with the 3-0 start after going 1-11 last year. Then, just as quickly as they had gained steam, they had cooled off, winning only one of their final nine games. Well, I've always thought that sports provides the greatest theater on planet Earth. It doesn't matter what you think you know, you do not know what's going to happen until it happens. And it also you don't know what it's going to be until we get to the very end. No movie is like that, no book, no theater. It was a year of triumphs, of heartbreak, of what ifs. What if Jordan Travis didn't get hurt? Would Florida State have made it to the college football playoff? Would they have won it? Ah, sports and its endless hamster wheel of speculation. Dan Grossman, Scripps News, Denver.